back with Lupini builds. So, what we did last time was uh, I told you how I was going to prepare the uh, the back tail plane. Uh, I've now completed that. You can see the detail that I've put into it. So I've covered part of it with mesh. I gave the the back ailerons a little bit of a, a detail in aluminium. I've given it a rivet line. You can see those rivet lines there. They come out quite nice using a tool that looks something like this. Um, this one here I bought at a haberdashery. So you simply take this, uh, you put it on a piece of aluminium, aluminium like this, and by running it across with a bit of weight, it creates a line for you that gives you what we call a rivet line. So you can see the rivets come out there quite nicely, nice and shiny, and you can do them like that. So I gave that back tail plane a bit of a rivet line. I've covered portion of it in uh, in the brass fabric, tucked it over. Um, the aluminium is ingeniously kept in place with some very thin wire over the wire and under so that it stays in place. And this little tail plane goes in here like that. And once in place, I'll just get it in there. It looks something like that. So you can see how nice that looks. So a little tail plane comes in there, like that. So we're getting there. Slowly, slowly it's taking shape. And now this piece here, because it's complete, I can leave it one side. And I'll put this in later on when we start to do all the assembly. So this piece here, I'll just keep it aside. Next, what we're going to do next is do the same to this wing like I did to the tail plane. So on this one, we're going to create a series of ribs that go across all the way across this wing over here. And on the other side, when I'll show you how to make those all nice and symmetrical. Um, I've learned little tricks along the way how that is done. And then that will give this wing some detail. So when we connect it to the plane, it's going to give it a, a nice finish. We're not far from complete here, by the way. Once we've got the... Um, the uh, the tail plane in and the wing in like this, we starting to look like it's getting complete. I've got to do the door profiles, the wing struts, a few other small things to make it look neat. And uh, to give it some extra detail, I'm going to put a, a covering on the tail. So the tail I might cover in aluminum or I might do it in aluminum all the way down that fillet line. So put a nice very really thin piece in there. I'll show you what I mean. So we cut out a template in paper. And then we stick the paper to a piece of aluminum and we cut it out so it comes all nice and neat. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, the basic wire work is almost done. I'm going to be working on the nose profile later. We've got to take the nose and trim it back and give it that beautiful curve that this nose of this aircraft, a very sweet nose, comes down and then we'll do the propeller and aluminum. So let's look forward to the next one. We'll get together in uh, on the next episode. We will take a little project to the next level. I think it's looking good. Pieces are coming together nicely and uh, it's a bit of a small scale as I said before but I think when you see the completed article it'll look very good. Chat to you soon. Take care.
we've come to a point with the uh, with the little Cessna where I now have the, uh, the tail mounted. I have the tail plane inserted. Did a nice detail there with some aluminum insert. So you can see how the tail plane has all taken shape. How the proportions are kept nice and straight. Everything is good to go. So we're now going to work on the main wing that will give us our little aircraft some detail and we'll be working on that next. So keep an eye out. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll be putting up the video on how we do our main wing uh, in a short while which is taking this wing over here and giving it the same detail as we gave it to the tailplane. Thanks again. Bye for now.